Welcome back to the latest video in the Baby Pips Forex Education video series. So we are in the elementary stage in grade four, talking everything about moving averages. So in the last Baby Pips video, we talked about the exponential or the EMA moving average. And in this video, we're going to talk about the differences between the simple moving average and the exponential moving average and again this is a very short tutorial in in baby pips and um, they use the analogy of the tortoise and the um uh, and the rabbit and that's basically what i'm going to show and i'm going to show you a couple of chart examples of what i mean um so again if you're brand new and haven't watched the two previous videos i'll link to all of that down below but effectively the simple moving average takes a series of data points across whatever time frame so in this example the weekly so each point is going to be a, a week on the euro usd and then we'll add up all those points in this case we have a 30 period sma so we'll take the last 30 periods or close prices and divide it by 30 to give you the point which is this red line over here as you can see and then alongside that, I've got the exponential 30-day moving average, which is pretty much the same calculation, but what it does, as opposed to the simple moving average, uh, average gives equal weight to each of the 30 points. The exponential moving average gives more weight to the most newest data set, which then allows it to follow price more, uh, more consistently, which is why you see a lot more um bumps and ups and downs with the exponential moving average than you do with the simple moving average so sma is red ema is blue and what the uh, tutorial talks about which i'm fully in agreement with is if you are more of a swing trader or looking at a top-down analysis to get a view of the trend of the overall market whether it's forex or stocks or whatever it may be then i would personally use the simple moving average because it cuts out a lot of the a lot of the noise and a classic example would be on the euro usd um in this kind of bull run uh in two thousand the whole of 2017 what you can see here is if you look at the red sma so the simple moving average which gives weight to each one of these points you can see here that it basically goes up into uh, a straight line so if you were a long-term trader in this trend um again around the points of where they kind of cross you would consistently be kept into this um into this long-term trend uh bull run in 2017 and if you look at in contrast the exponential moving average you can see that it turns slightly and then turns back up because you have a massive run up here and then you get a pull back and then another uh impulsive move leg to the upside so again if you want to catch those bigger trends and stay in for a longer period of time or you're doing top-down analysis the sma is definitely the way forward um, if i have a look in contrast to a 30-minute time frame and let's just say for example you were day trading now if you're day trading where you need to be more reactive to price action and the market movements um, again i would lean towards an exponential moving average and a good example would be actually it's on the screen right now is this um is this impulsive move up so you can see here that the red sma throughout this whole move um even when price starts to go down um continues making you know aggressive aggressive highs because even with um this consolidation to potentially making a new low it's giving equal weight to all of these moves going over here but what you'll notice with the blue ema is you'll start to see it goes up and then as you can see it starts to tail off here and this happens a lot earlier around this type of price action and that is because it's giving more weight to the latter or newer data sets so again if you're day trading and again as you can clearly see um over here um 
moving averages are really good at you know supporting resistance zones to kind of trail up but they can also give you early warning signs that trends might be weak weakening or reversals might be there the disadvantage of using the exponential moving average um, especially in breakout trading is down to false fake outs because it 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 measures price. So if I just take this, for example, as a classic example, you might be thinking here is the um, is a moment to go long because you see that the EMA spikes upwards, but you can see price continues to go uh, straight back down there. And that, again, for me, there isn't one sole indicator that is the be all and end all in terms of trading. You need to use confidence, which I talk about a lot on this channel about multiple indicators showing you the right signals to get in. But the long and short of it is the simple moving average is if you want to see long term trends, simple moving average is the way to go. If you're more of a trading, swing trading, hourly time frame or below, the EMA will be a better a better move for you because it follows price action more closely due to the nature of the calculation. So I hope you like this video. And again, stay tuned then for the next baby Peaks video on the thumbnail now. And I shall see you guys in the next video.